Climate Now, in collaboration with Copernicus. Hello and welcome to Climate Now. This month we're here in Slovenia to ask how they're adapting to the threat of heavy rain after much of the country was hit by devastating floods last year. Je bilo v hipu poplavljeni več kot dve tretjini celotne države. Before that, let's check the very latest data on our warming planet from the Copernicus Climate Change Service. We can now confirm that 2023 was the warmest year on record. This graph of annual averages since 1967 shows last year was almost 1.5 degrees Celsius above the pre-industrial era. The higher temperatures are being attributed to several factors, mainly more greenhouse gas emissions, warmer oceans and lower sea ice concentrations. Switching over to the monthly Copernicus data, we can see it was the warmest December on record, over 0.8 degrees Celsius above the 1991 to 2020 average. In Europe, it was colder than average from Scandinavia to Russia, and then unusually warm from Ireland to the Black Sea. December was wet for many of us, with a succession of storms in Western, Central and Eastern Europe. This map of precipitation anomalies reflects that with the wetter blue areas indicating above average rain or snow last month. Now to our report asking how Slovenia is adapting to the rising risk of heavy rain and flooding. Slovenia is in the middle of a major flash flood adaptation effort. There are 250 active sites like this across the country, working to protect riverside homes and businesses. The water agency director is Nizia Kodri. Uspostavljamo osnovno pretočno struge z odstranjevanjem materijala. Hkrati smo predstavili nasip in s tem dali prostor reki. Nearly everyone was hit by the floods last August. 183 of the 212 municipalities in Slovenia were impacted. The country experienced 63% more rainfall than average last summer. Expert Tanja Tsega warns that rising temperatures due to climate change will simply increase the flash flood risk. We will get more heavy rain in the future, especially these uh, events during summer when air is warm and there is a lot of moisture in the air. Different approaches to flash flooding are applied in different zones. In this dense urban area of Ljubljana, the best solution is a much higher embankment wall. Downstream, there's enough room to dig a wider riverbed, preserve the trees and slow down the water. Engineer Rok Fazerint says natural solutions cost less and look better, but need constant upkeep. To help pay for these works, the government has raised taxes on banks and businesses for the next five years. Minister Boschan Šefić justifies the choice. Nikoli niso povišanja davkov dobrodošla, vendar menimo, da je to investicija v prihodnost, tudi za gospodarstvo, ker objekti, ki bojo bolj odporni, ko bomo bolj varni proti poplavam in drugim naravnim pojavom, seveda bo tudi se kasneje bistveno obrestovalo. The other challenge is convincing local people to accept that flash flood adaptation has to happen. Torej, ljudje si ne želijo ukrepov na svojem dvorišču, ne želijo si na svojem območju suhih zadrževalnikov. Tako je veliko dela z vključevanjem javnosti, različnih sektorjev, kar velik izziv. Well, that's all we have time for, but you can find out a lot more about how Slovenia is adapting to climate change on euronews.com slash climate now. And I'll see you next time. Climate Now, in collaboration with Copernicus.